All right, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. I know you guys are wondering like why don't why don't I post back day workouts? I do back day, I hit back day. I just haven't been recording much recently cuz I have I've done a really good job on getting ahead of my videos so I have a good schedule so I've been able to keep on popping out reels on Instagram and YouTube and that's doing great. We're seeing a bunch of growth on this channel so far. I'm super happy and super thankful for you guys. But we're hitting back today. I'm actually going to give you guys a back video. And I'm going to do some of my favorite workouts that I've been liking to do recently for, for the back. And just overall, go get a good back pump. Have a good day. Today's Thanksgiving. So I'm going to go do Thanksgiving. Probably put on a couple pounds, hopefully. And then have a second Thanksgiving tomorrow. And hopefully uh, by the end of December, we'll see 200 here soon. But today, we're doing um, Convict High Stim pre-workout. I've been... Taking this probably like once a week, the soles for sale, and most of the time it's been at night. And honestly, if you're going to take 350 milligrams of caffeine that late at night, I have such a hard time falling asleep. So, I am, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little tired today because I didn't sleep too, too well last night. So, we're going to go ahead, probably just single scoop of this. I'm not trying to get a crazy uh, stimulant today. Maybe I kind of do. I probably do want a stimulant. Yeah, let's go, let's go like one and a half. Oh. oh, man. Yeah, I got my nose. Ooh. All right. So, we are heading off to Rebel Fit Co. Recently, Sinan has let me use the TV at the gym. So, I literally go to the gym and it's just constantly playing my YouTube channel because <laughs> I rack up those hours so I can start hopefully making some money on the channel start growing it a little bit a little bit quicker so i've been playing at home like 24 7 playing at the gym 24 7 so hopefully those hours start racking up a ton but we're gonna go ahead all right so we just got to the gym we're gonna start out with uh this low row machine right here it's kind of like a hammer strength machine but we're gonna go ahead i want to do I want to do a rest pause set today, so we're going to build up to around 14 reps, probably start off with 6 or 8, and then do probably 4, and then 2, something like that. I don't really know. I'll add it up here at the end, but we're going to stack up the weight. It goes heavier than usual, so probably around 4, 4 ish plates. So we're going to go ahead and get started, get this going, and get this nasty back pump going. But we're really focusing on stretching the lats, growing the lats, and just maximizing each individual muscle group every single day. Let's get going. So far, that has been one of my my favorite super sets recently to do for back. Is those two different variants of like close grip, and you get easily a, a nice fat back pump with two sets. I'm just doing three because that first like warm up movement on the uh, the low row was. It was, a, it was a rest pause set, so 
one set, three sets, whatever you want to call it. But I went ahead and just did three sets of this super set. We're going to move on, probably do some dumbbell rows and incorporate some movements that I don't really actually do. And I highly suggest you guys to do that all the time is do movements you love that you know gets your back freaking pumped and then go out of your comfort zone and do the movements that you don't really do usually just to get those different movements in because it's always good to confuse the muscles and just hit every single different angle that you're not used to. All right, one movement I wish I was incorporating from like the very start of all my workouts, my first start lifting, is the body weight, the body weight movements at the end of the workouts. Like for example, I really like doing the walking lunges and the sumo squats at the end of my leg days. Just body weight work and just stretching the muscle and just getting the blood flow at the very end. But for chest and back day, TRX straps, 100% you can use these, and I feel like a lot of people look at them like, what the hell are these things? Things are like a piece of garbage. And that, like, when I, whenever I worked out, I just thought they were for like, I don't know, older people. They aren't like for the big guys. But if you want to do deep, deep push-ups, deep like incline push-ups, grab the TRX straps. Or if you want to be more elevated, just lower them close to the ground. But you want to get your chest stretching, and like you want to try to get further than your hands. And that's what I usually do with the dumbbells, get a deep stretch. What I, I honestly probably would like more than TRX straps is the dumbbells, but if you can't do that, you do TRX straps. But what I've been enjoying a lot recently is just the really deep, full stretch, just the, the pull-ups on this. And I'll show you guys what those look like. But great back day finisher. Make sure you're fully recovered, get like a nice like five, six minute break, and then we're just going to a failure. One thing is, when I'm doing these, put your wrist straps on, strap in. I didn't do that set, could have probably went further, but I'm not letting my chest cave in at that bottom. I keep my chest up all the way through, and letting my last stretch, stretch out and push on my shoulders. And that will give you a nice, filthy pump at the end. We're gonna go hit a quick little flex against the arch nemesis in the posing room, and then get out of here. All right, guys, so we just got home. We're gonna go ahead and get ready, and then I go meet up with my family for Thanksgiving, and we're gonna do our, our dinner. So that's the end of the back day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm getting back in the routine of making more YouTube videos because I've had a lot of scheduled content recently, so I've been kind of just taking a break and making a lot of reels and trying to stay on top of Instagram and YouTube and make that more of like a job and less like just for fun. So I'm still, I'm still enjoying it, but I want to put more content out and just like not every once in a while. So I hope you guys are enjoying all the videos I've been putting out recently and I hope you, everyone's having a great Thanksgiving with their family and I uh, bless the turkey just to go straight to the freaking back. And like always, I want to end this prayer. So Lord God, I pray for everyone right now with, uh, with their families, that they're having a good uh, Thanksgiving and that everyone is staying strong and 
doing great in the gym and staying motivated, staying disciplined, Lord God. And I thank you for everyone and every single person that every single person that's going through uh, tough times right now. And I, I pray for their mental health, God, and I pray for uh, their depression, their anxieties, and their stress to go away, God, and for them to have a goal and focus on a goal. Because the second you actually realize what you want to do in life or realize something that you want and you make small goals in order to reach that one big goal, it will keep you distracted from the depression, keep you distracted from the stress, Lord God. So I pray for those people to just keep on setting goals, keep on setting small achievable goals and build up to reach the one big main goal, Lord God. So I pray for it to not be easy and I pray for each challenge and constant struggles in our paths and give us the opportunity to go overcome these struggles, God, because without, uh, without trial there's no success, there's no growth, Lord God. So. I think for everything you do in my life, everything you do in everyone else's lives, and everything you put in my life, God. Amen, amen, and amen. And like always, remember to keep God first, keep others above yourself, and just to keep on staying uncomfortable, guys, because that's what you really just got to do to, to grow. So I think you guys more than, more than anything. I think you guys so much for actually watching and tuning into my content and for just constantly always being there for me, guys. So until next time, that was back day.